In this video, I show you how to make this razor draw knife. It has a razor blade, which is a replacement from a utility knife that you could get like this. The blade only costs maybe uh, 20 cents, and the pieces of wood are about 20 cents as well, so it's 40 cents for a razor draw knife. Now I use this to make wooden wind turbine blades. And what you do with the knife, this is a sharp edge here, you gotta watch out. You grab it with both hands and you just pull it towards your top. So there you go. You can get really nice shavings out of that. So I'm starting to carve more and more wind turbine blades out of wood and they're very cheap, they're very easy to carve, but I have a problem, I'm just using this box cutter. I really like the blade, it's really nice and thin, it really splits and carves the wood very nicely, but it's really hard on my wrist and my arm when I'm carving this many blades. Um, this knife doesn't really work. What I really want is some kind of draw knife where I can grab both sides of the knife and pull it. So what I want to do, I got these spare blades, the same blade that I was using. I got 10 of them for $2, very inexpensive. This is a breakable razor blade. You have all the sections to break off. And in this video, I'm going to make a very cheap razor draw blade with a 3-inch blade. So I'm going to hold it on both sides, and I'm going to pull it. It's going to have wood handles on both sides. It's going to be very cheap, and it's going to help me make more wind turbine blades. The first thing I do is I mark off the handles. I'm going to use this... Uh, pine two by one. So I just basically grab the piece of wood and mark off how wide my hand is. So I'm going to have two of these, one hand on both sides, and I'm going to pull the draw knife. So I mark this in the half, so I have two pieces that are going to come out of this. Now before I cut it, I want to shape it. What I do is I take the knife to shape it, and I just shave off the corners. So you want this to fit nicely inside your hand. You want to make a nice hand grip. So this can be like one of the last times I can, I'm going to use um, this knife. And this is how I used to make <laughs> the uh, wind turbine blade. So it's really a lot of cranking on your wrist. It does cut very well, but if you do this for hours and hours, it's really hard on your wrist. So we just shape this, we round all the corners with the knife, and then we can sand it. Now when you have the basic shape, and the whole thing is nice and rounded. So the most important is just that it's comfortable in your hand. Before there was corners that would dig into my fingers, and now it feels nice and comfortable. So you can just sand this with 80 grit sandpaper, really rough sandpaper to take out all the, uh, the carve marks that are all over it. So there's the handle, nice and smooth. I actually first sanded with 80 grit and then I sanded with 220. The 220 just gives it an extra softness um, and it prevents um, blisters, or at least helps prevent blisters. So when you're, when you're using your draw knife for many hours and it's rubbing, the softer it is, the less it's gonna rub your skin and uh, cause problems. Clamped it down, now I'm just going to use a handsaw and cut it in half to make two handles. So, um, this draw knife is going to look like this. There's going to be the razor blade in the middle and there's going to be two handles, one on each side. So I'm going to pull with both arms um, to be able to shave and shape my uh, turbine blade. So what I've done is I've marked the center here across and this is where I'm going to I'm going to cut a very thin slot. So I have this razor saw. This razor saw has an extremely thin blade I'm going to make a very thin slice here, and I want a very um, tight fit from the blade going into this slot. So I only want to cut uh, maybe half an inch deep so I can put this in this end. And then I'm going to glue it in place, let it dry overnight, and then see how it works. So I've just uh, clamped it to my desk here, and this is how I'm cutting it. I'm just going back and forth in the slot. And I think I'm almost there. I want about half an inch deep. So if you make the really thin um, cut with the razor saw, um, you want to force the blade in, like blade first, um, with the sharp edge first. So it's just going to open it up a little bit um, to make sure it's a tight fit, but you can still get the blade in. And now we're going to take it out, turn it around, and then stick it in the way we want. Um, this pressure is going to make sure that the glue um, sets really good and that there's a really good um, bond. So that's how it's going to fit in there. I just trial fit it and maybe about half an inch in and then the other handle is going to be on the other side. So now I can cut the other handle and trial fit that and then I can um, pull everything apart. I'm going to put some JB Weld in this crack and also on the blade after I sand it 
and then it should all set together as one piece. Blade trial fit, it's just wedged in each piece. That's what it's gonna look like. So this is how far it was in on both sides. I think we're gonna keep that using almost a three and a half inch blade. So to get ready for gluing, I'm using 220 grid sandpaper and I'm just sanding these pieces on both sides, the part that actually goes into the wood so that the glue grabs the metal better. So you can see all the scratches there from the sandpaper on the ends. And again, this allows the JB Weld to grab the knife better and hold it in the handle. So just the pieces that are going to go into the wood, I've sanded with 220 um, sandpaper. All right, so I put some nice JB Weld on um, the ends, the ones that are going to insert on both sides. And then that's going to slide into each handle. And actually, each handle as well. I took this little piece of pop can that I had from the bottom of a pop can. I put JB Weld on it and I stuck it inside the slot. So there's JB Weld inside the slot as well as on the blade on each end. So now you just slide it in. You can push on both ends together to try and get them to go in. Um, this is actually the time where it's the easiest to break the blade um, or to cut yourself because you're putting a lot of pressure in it to try and get it together. So be careful. You can use pliers and you can grab um, the blade and then you can push it in on one side as well. So when you get it in and you position the handles at the right angles so that they're um, nice and straight so it's easy to use, um, then you can add clamps just for additional um, pressure. So you're just closing, you wedge it into the wood, the slice in the wood, and now you're just pressing it even more together than naturally happens with the wood. So that's just going to make it um, glue even a little bit better. And you just let that wait overnight, let it set, and then it should be ready to use tomorrow. And here's the finished razor draw knife.